Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ladies and gentlemen hello uh, today we are flying from uh, Dubai International to uh, Doha International Airport to Abuja and uh, uh, my, my final destination is going to be Abuja today uh, but it's going to be via Doha inshallah so uh, and today is going to be night flight today and yeah from Doha from uh, uh, Dubai to Doha is uh, roughly a uh, one hour 10 minutes so uh, this is a uh, one sector and the time uh, from Doha is a uh, one hour behind uh, uae so uh, it's currently uh 7 p.m in doha while it's uh, 8 p.m here so we will be arriving doha uh 12 p.m 12 a.m uh that is going to be uh thursday uh, morning while it's going to be uh, 1 a.m here respectively so uh we are currently heading to uh dubai, Inter dubai international airport and today as well we are departing from uh terminal one inshallah so yeah, it's going to be night flight. However, uh, this is going to be my second time flying with uh, Qatar Airways. Uh, also, uh, I really had a great experience the first time. Uh, yeah, it was great, alhamdulillah and uh yes you know qatar airways has been uh the best airline for the for more than six consecutive years and i think even this year they were the best awarded uh by skytrax so it was awarded by skytrax and i don't know for for emirates yeah emirates is still one of the top 10 in the world they have uh exceptional services as well but i don't know what uh qatar has that the emirates doesn't operate with but uh, yeah, as you can see, this site I, th I think is the terminal three. Basically, is the Emirates uh, Emirates uh, all flights in terminal three. So uh, for my flight today is terminal one, as I said. So we are about arriving to the airport, inshallah. So yeah, and um, of course, like uh, free luggages. And thankfully, I'm not flying with Ethiopia because one thing I dislike with the Ethiopia, even the hand luggage, they have to check it. Yeah, if you exit 10 kg, you have to pay for that. I could remember the last trip, I paid excess for the hand luggage. And uh, Qatar Airways no need for that. So I bought so many things in the duty free. We are finally in the chicken quarter of the Qatar Airways. And the counter is, al is already open. So uh, yeah, I'm waiting to collect my tickets and also a uh, set off to the boarding gate so as you can see here uh, the Qatar staffs and so many uh, passengers we have today in the flight so and today's flight is going to be a night flight and we are flying with a 350 1000 series and I'm, I'm finally done with the check-in area and I'll be heading to the security checks to uh, clear everything and also uh, yeah, clear the baggage and finally set for duty free Dubai International is always busy and crowded with uh, passengers and even now it's a uh, first uh, time now so many people are going for vacation students going home and now it's a uh, summer time so summer is beginning in a few days so and, and for me as well I will be going for a uh, long vacation yeah the last time I went uh, I traveled I, uh, December right if you could remember I think uh, yeah it was through Ethiopia I went that time but at this time I want to uh, experience the flight uh, in Qatar Airways this, this time. So uh, we are here uh, in the security check-in area. So it's always crowded as, as, as usual. So this side, left-hand side, is, always, is only for the GCC uh, nationals and the other side for uh, all foreigners. But uh, at the end, I think they have to open this side so, because the crowd on, on this side is many. So I, I, I uh, I also uh, will take the other side because I can wait here. It's the lane, so you have to take this side. It's, it's faster and also reliable, so the checks will be done on time. So then from there then to the uh, immigration side and finally to the gate. Locally today, I will be flying uh, in the 1000 series and I, I never fly in my life 
So I only flown uh, the the 900 series, the one of Ethiopia. Uh, we are finally in the immigration site, and I think this place is restricted. We can't uh, take any coverage here and for videos. So we are done with the immigration site, and finally heading to a uh, uh, concourse D. So before we reach there, we have to take uh, the electric electric tra train as usual. So yeah, we are heading to the train uh, site now. I have to take a long walk before reaching to the train site, but uh, it's, it's not even too long compared to uh, Hamad International Airport in Doha. Uh, you have to be very careful. You've got to really careful at the moment and because you, you can easily miss your flight in Hamad International because uh, you have to walk long distance before reaching to the gates. They are far apart. Uh, we have to uh, wait for the train and it will be arriving in less than two minutes. And for today, I, I exceeded uh, the required kg by uh, by two kg, and so the staff there she told me no issues with that. I I don't have to pay any amount, so I was really glad and happy. But I felt that if if it was in Ethiopia, I really have to pay something. I know definitely, Ethiopia they like taxing people anyhow. And finally here the train has arrived. Uh, finally off to a uh, concourse D. Please hold on. The train is ready to depart to D gates. Passengers are reminded that boarding gate information will be posted 90 minutes prior to flight departure. Please confide the flight information scores in the comments. Thank you. As we can see, we are passing over Terminal 3 and also you can see uh, the aircraft over there, taxi to the airport and also the train is going in a high speed. Approaching station. Uh, we are fin finally arriving at our uh, university. We are finally in Concourse D and also are fire heading to the gate. One thing I love uh, with Dubai International at uh, the airport is uh, it's so quiet, you will hardly hear so many announcements or like other airports uh, or, or even a domestic airport. So, uh, you will only hear announcement uh, in the boarding gate just before you board the aircraft. So that is it. Uh, is I think it's quite uh, organizable. Uh, so we are in the duty uh, free area, as you can see here. So many crowds here. The duty shop, uh, the, the things, uh, the things there are relatively cheap, and you will, you will see especially the perfumes there. They have very good uh, and reasonable perfumes with a uh, nice uh, scent. So I think I'll be uh, checking one of these uh, shops here. Yeah. يعني هنا المكان الانتظار الأماكن في الدول أنت سترى هنا أي رحلة ستذهب. I just finally uh, checked uh, my flight and the time and everything was on time. 
so no any changes was made and yeah everything was perfect Wow, this place is so amazing. Just look how people are just going in and out. That's why I love traveling. Tra traveling is one of my hobbies, and I always want to be on air. Yeah, especially stopping by uh, in a shop to get so many gifts for your loved ones and also family, especially for your for your partner. Yeah, so I know she she's she's watching this video, and also uh, yeah, I will I will I can't wait to meet you. Yeah. So uh, we are finally in the duty uh, free shop shopping area. So let's start uh, what uh, what is more more important. This place has so many gifts to take away with you, and so many varieties you can you can check here, especially ranging from perfumes, chocolates, many ornaments as well. Yeah. So uh, let's take a quick uh, uh, tour in before we start uh, getting what. Uh, what i want so i uh, will basically check in and see whether there are new uh, things to get here because i normally buy uh, some specific uh, items here here we go we have different uh, uh, chocolate brands here from cadbury B uh, bounty kit cards all all we have here so i'm finally done with the duty free area i've got two bucks here uh, fill up with so many chocolate gifts as well so uh, let's get to the gate and um, it's almost time uh, for boarding and boarding will start by 10 30 so and the part of time is uh 11 11 15. this time uh the gate is almost empty as we can see each gate uh and almost uh it's almost uh, empty with no passengers just few passengers and i have to take a long walk before reaching my gate and we are departing from d17 today at her uh a350 1000 series i think i need to go to the washroom and adjust everything and also uh, wash my hands because they're somehow stinky We are finally in the washroom and um, yeah i've all turned on and let's uh, get ready for the flight let's get going and here we are finally in the gate as you can see her here a350 1000 series and we are waiting for the boarding and we'll be start boarding and on time Then has already started and commerce and it's only for those in first class and zone a and zone b only and for me i'm in zone three so i have to wait for a few moments before uh joining the queue so my seat today is also a uh, 29 alpha precisely window seat as usual and the other flight is 20 kelvin which i will be connecting from uh qatar uh, to abuja inshallah so yeah we are finally now heading to the aircraft through the boarding bridge and i, th I think today's flight is not even going to be filled up with passengers because uh i know this uh, we, ha we, ha we have very few passengers compared to the aircraft that was dictated for this flight and it has a huge number of passengers that conveyed Yes, 
we finally boarded the aircraft Qatar Airways uh, boarding from uh, Dubai uh, to uh, Doha سيداتي وسيدة مرحبا بكم إلى الرحلة اليوم من من دبي إلى 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 قطر دولة القطرية سارت الرحلة اليوم دولة الإمارات إلى إلى القطر إن شاء الله إن شاء الله الرحلة ستكون مميزة إن أعجبتكم الفيديو لا تنسى أن سبسكرايب شكرا لكم على حسن الاستماع and we are finally going to configure my seat here I already arrived and finally I start That's why I love flying with the Qatar because the economy is very spacious and also the trade job, trade job as well. So everything is spacious here compared to the Ethiopia. As you can see, the seat here very uh, elegant and also very nice. Yeah, boarding is still going on and also as you can see here the type of the aircraft. Yeah, and also as I said initially the uh, flight time will be 1 hour 10 minutes. But the main uh, flight time is 45 minutes. But uh, the, from the taxi and pushback, takeoff, landing, it comprises uh, 1 hour 10 minutes. So that's it, one sector complete. So let's explore the uh, uh, the 13 inches uh, HD TV. As you can see, uh, I I just put in the map, uh, and for me, that is what I normally do always. So I don't uh, have the interest of watching movies now, because uh, yeah, it's not part of my hobbies now. I always uh, enjoy watching the map. As you can see the aircraft here on the camera from the top, from the tail of the aircraft. Uh, so I think the A350 and the A380 has this camera on the tail. And here is the ground and also here back here. And you can also see the landing gear as well, parked in the normal position. As you can see today is going to be an empty flight because almost all the seats are closing are empty so I don't know for the business class so uh, we are about our uh, pushing back We are currently uh, pushing back the aircraft has started uh, and soon the engine will be started Clubs are being deployed as you can hear the sound here. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're about to start taxiing uh, off to the runway inshallah very soon as you can see. The pushback wheel is uh, about uh, going and we are finally taxiing off to the runway. So many people have even started sleeping. Yeah, and for me, I hardly sleep in flight because uh, I normally do all this coverage for you people. I hope you really, you guys are enjoying today's video and please make sure uh, you comment on the comment section uh if there is any mistake also i will see and uh, also yeah your comments keep me going uh yeah thank you very much uh
as you can see here from the camera, the captain is about aligning the aircraft on the runway. Finally, here we go, uh, uh, taken off uh, Dubai International, inshallah. So, finally, here, here is the takeoff. set up the full thrust and uh, yes we are about taking off and today uh, we are cruising at the altitude of uh, 30 to 30 to uh, 39,000 feet sharp finally took off in Dubai International uh, yes and you know night flight is very common here in the Middle East uh, most of the flights here uh, they are international especially in the UAE they don't have domestic flights mainly are uh, international flights there so most of the flights are there are night flights yeah they also have a day uh, flights in the day but uh majority of the flights are at night As you can see here, the aerial view here outside very really captivated and also interesting. The, I also cited the Burj Khalifa over there. As you can see, I don't know whether I saw it. So Dubai uh, is very, uh, is very uh, uh, nice uh, at night and also it looks uh, very elegant, especially for pilots uh, flying at night passing over to Dubai, Jeddah, and Riyadh. So the the lights, the aerial view on the from the from the top view uh, gives them uh, good uh, navigation uh, unlike when flying in, in africa so the airspace there in africa uh, is not uh, very bright compared to here in the middle east of course the uh, well-developed countries there uh, or like in africa just few places you can find this uh, brightness However, uh, throughout this flight, I uh, will be uh, over sea level, and yeah, uh, the wind here is very strong. So I think it will increase the the duration for today's traveling because it's under the wind, uh, under the sea level, and also yeah, the winds uh, also affects the the velocity and also uh, speed of the aircraft at the same time. So the pilot will have to increase the speed. And also yes, I'm here in the washroom just taking a little look here and yeah everything seems tidy here the Qatar Airways uh you know neatness is with them no question they, they, they ensure everything is uh, well uh, organized and also very clean and tidy here So uh, the cabin crew has started announcing we are about to start a descending process. So we just took off recently, just about uh, 30 minutes ago. And as, as today is going to be short flight because uh, we just uh, have uh, roughly 45 minutes. But uh, the whole sector is uh, one hour, five minutes. So yeah, we are about to start a descending process, inshallah. So uh, we are also, uh, uh, I think we are currently in uh, Qatar airspace. We left UAE. So the time here in Qatar is uh, one hour behind uh, UAE. So are uh, the people sitting in front of me are couples and even we also boarded at the same time I was uh, in between them. 
in the in the queue so they just uh, pleaded with me and also i left them to be in my front so i can't wait to fly with my i can't wait to fly with my uh, wife as well inshallah so it's going to be really amazing as you can see the pilot has just been going over and over turning and turning so because he's uh, the pilot is trying to avoid uh, the the wind over in the sea level because it's very high so it affects the wind it affects the speed of the aircraft as i said initially uh ladies and gentlemen we are finally in qatar uh, airspace and yeah the pilot will soon start uh, descending and yes i will uh, be connecting my flight uh, to abuja سيدات وسيدة مرحبا بكم إلى الأضارية اليوم أو رحلة سرعة ساعة والنس إن شاء الله سأحول الطائرة قليل إلى دولة في نيجيريا إن شاء الله أبو جاء in the final approach here and uh, here is the landing let's see for today's landing uh, from all indications uh, today's landing was smooth uh, but uh, a little bumpy but uh, quite all right the pilot has done well night flying is not easy at all because uh, there are so many uh, uh, you know collusions at night and also you have to be very careful to uh, the landmarks you follow through especially this is uh, on the sea level so you have to be very careful to uh, in order not to land on water on time أعزائي المسافرين مرحبا بكم إلى المطار قطرية الحماض إنترناشنال الآن الساعة تحق المحلي ساعة الآن إثنى عشر الآن صباحا اليوم الخامس إن شاء الله الطقس جيد إن شاء الله يشير إلى الساعة الحادية عشر وثلاثين دقيقة مساء حرصاً على سلامتكم يرجى البقاء جالسين في مقاعدكم مع رد أحزمة الأمان حتى توقف الطائرة نهائياً وتطفئ إشارة رد حزام الأمان الرجاء منكم توخي الحيطة والحذر عند فتح الخزائن العلوية والتأكد من أخذ جميع متعلقاتكم الشخصية معكم عند نزولكم من الطائرة ندع السادة مسافر الدرجة الأولى ودرجة رجال الأعمال as you can see over there is the A330 300 series and yeah I've never been in that uh, aircraft before but uh, inshallah very soon one day I will fly in the future is the parking gate for this uh, aircraft I, uh, yeah we are finally parked in and we are also uh, going to disembark very soon inshallah so i don't know why it, uh, it's taking long uh, the door is not yet opened uh, I, I don't know why it's taking this long okay fine uh, we are finally uh, out of the aircraft and also heading to our uh, arrival section and also those connecting flights will go to the connecting areas and those who are going to proceed with their journey to qatar inshallah and continue as well and as for me, I will be connecting my flight inshallah to Dubai, inshallah, to Abuja inshallah. So uh, today I, I couldn't get the opportunity to see the pilot I wanted going in, but uh, I've got so many uh, luggage and also handbags as we can see them there over there, too many, so I can't handle. So I will catch with you guys inshallah in my next flight uh, from Doha to uh, Abuja. Uh, please uh, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to that channel, please. And also comment on the comment section so that I will see your comments. Thank you very much, and I will catch you too in the next uh, video. Shukran lakum, ma'asalam. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much.